Hello people, I am Mpage, and as we get closer to Christmas, and since I got three likes on the other Bluey Christmas book, today we are going to take a look at Veranda Santa. I've dreaded the idea of watching this episode on TV because I've seen clips of it on YouTube, and the clips I've seen involved... Bluey kind of being a brat to Socks for a simple mistake. And I don't know why, but it just unnerved me. But I'm going to take baby steps. I'm not going to watch the thing on Disney+. Plus Because if I were going to react to that, then the video would get content ID claimed, obviously. Instead, we're going to look at the book. Which pretty much has the main basic plot points of the episode included, so... This should be just as good. If I find the book enjoyable, then I have nothing to fear watching the episode in my own private time. So, let's get into it. Well, at least this falling snow is cute. This episode of Bluey is called Christmas Eve with Veranda Santa. Which, I'm pretty sure it's just called Veranda Santa in Disney+, Plus, but... Eh, semantics. That snow globe is cool though. Look at that. Santa with a surfboard. Santa paws with a surfboard. Of course it's Christmas time in Australia. It's Christmas Eve and Bluey's whole family has gathered at the Healer House. Look at all them decorations. Bluey's family must be friggin' loaded. Everybody's already... <sighs> Stupid glare. Everyone's already had dinner. Which means it's nearly time for Santa to come. We have socks is asleep and bandits asleep. Bluey is curious what your present is and uh, Stripe is asleep. And I think that's Trixie. She's just talking about who knows what and Chili's clearly interested. All these cool decorations everywhere and like I'm surprised they barely even touched the Pavlova? Is that Pavlova? I forget. Bluey is bursting with excitement. She can't wait to open the presents that are already under the tree. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. No peeking at those presents! Why not? Because Santa doesn't give presents to naughty kids. No, Santa doesn't give presents to naughty kids, but he might have a little sum for the naughty adults. Yeah, I can't bite my hand for the entire video. Muffin wants to know how Santa gets in when there's no chimney. Maybe he uses the veranda. Let's play Veranda Santa! Yeah! What's a veranda? I need to look this up. A veranda is a roof platform along the outside of a house level with the ground floor. Classy. So they basically just let Santa in the house. He didn't come down the chimney. So mama must have let him in. Muffin jumps off the chair and lands on her dad's belly. Oh! Muffin, quick, you have to say sorry! Santa's watching! Ah, I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, now it's time to play the game. Bluey suggests Dad can be Veranda Santa, and the kids rush into bed pretending to be asleep. Okay, it's Christmas in the morning. Remember, no presents. No peeking on no presents. I'll say something. Hooray! Dad tiptoes across the veranda and into the room. Bingo giggles with excitement, and Bluey opens one eye. Was that a peek? Bluey shuts her eyes, shakes her head. It wasn't a peek! Uh, she probably has resting awake face, resting smug face, resting bitch face. I'm allowed to say that she is a female dog. Ho, ho, and ho. That's what the book says. Don't judge me. It's morning. I got a snow globe. I got shaving cream. I got a pencil case. Okay, uh, first of all, don't give a snow globe to a chick that's known to break things. That's probably going to break things. What does Bingo have to shave, and what's so good about a pencil case if you don't even know how to write yet? And there's a tip about, like, game semantics and all that. And apparently you have to accept apologies or else you're naughty. I don't get it. Santa likes children who accept sorries. I'm already starting to get bitter. And now Bluey gets to be the Veranda Santa. She tiptoes and ran into the room, and then she just... Well, she screams, ho, ho, ho. How else do you expect them to not... Fr it's like, if, if you're screaming at them, of course they're gonna friggin' wake up! Not even Santa would be that... That's silly! 
you, Pete. I'm gonna throw these in the bin. Uh, last I checked, that's not what Santa does to prisons. He probably burns them or donates them. Toys for Tots could use some donations this time of year. <laughs> I like how they're begging for her forgiveness and stuff. That's just, that's an image. Oh, he, oh, that's where they get the please face from. Like, Bluey and Bingo are the master of please faces. They clearly get it from their dad. Yay, they get a TV remote and toilet paper and a lizard. Okay, what the frick is this sentence? I sure am a very nice child. If I were the real Santa, I'd give me lots of presents. Oh, I'm getting major Caillou vibes right now. Please do not give me Caillou vibes, you... You... Buck! Oh, Bingo gets to be the Veranda Santa. Oh, my teddy bear! <laughs> yeah. The real Santa would be much heavier than that. Either by virtue of being the Jolly Fat Man, or by being the Muscle Bound Santa that a lot of people seem to like for some reason. Why am I getting so critical? This is a Bluey book. It's supposed to be cute and kind and wholesome. Bluey tries to pick up socks and socks bites her. She's not even apo- He's not even apologizing because as he doesn't know any better. Oh, she doesn't know any better? Yeah, socks is female. I had to crack myself in the editing of the last video. Why do I keep calling it a ham? Mm, let's keep playing. Avoiding grabby hands to deliver the presents. Ho, 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 and no. Here it comes. This is, we're about to head into the scene I've been dreading since I started this video. Long before I started this video. I've been dreading the scene since I started seeing little peaks of Christmas Bluey. Here it comes. This is gonna hurt me on the inside. Let's keep going. Christmas! Purple underpants from someone who's never been sick. Never been sick? Never been sick. Bite beans! You have to pay for those beans. Run, Rita! <laughs> ah. uh. <laughs> I slipped on my beans. <laughs> One of these. Of course, it's a fidget spinner. You can't have a millennial childhood icon without one of these, apparently. Just when I thought this show was starting to get timeless. And Sox didn't get anything because, um... And because she, because Miranda Santa doesn't deliver to naughty dogs that bite people. Okay, at least uh, at least we just have an image to look at and be sad for. It's like, uh, I mean, on one hand, I didn't like the sound of Bluey being a brat from the clip, and this book kind of helps. But on the other hand, um, when you don't have a key element of the episode, your imagination kind of fills in the details and. I think my heart's, like, at a 105 right now. Let's just go. They wanted to apologize. I was teaching her that Santa doesn't give you presents if you're not nice. But that's not why you should be nice to people. Why? Why do I feel like this is a rehash of Duck Cake? Like, with Duck Cake, you clean up and do nice things because they're nice things and they make people happy. Not just because you're expecting a reward or a treat. This is pretty much the Christmas version of that. I'm not realizing that. Socks is crying and sitting outside. Imagine if Socks did to you what you did to her. Great, now I'm getting vibes of those freaking like, uh, pet shelter adverts. She realizes she would be sad too. And, uh, Louie says she's sorry and Socks licks her. Which is her own way of saying sorry, I guess. That's an adorable sight. One last game of Randa Santa. And Bandit's the Santa this time. Ho, ho. Oh, no. Pillows. Oh, this is my favorite part. Get him. <laughs> uh, happy ending. Okay. Um, I think it's obvious that when I built up the brattiness of Bluey in this episode in my head. I was kind of making a mountain out of a molehill. But, like, I plowed through the book and, honestly, it is cute. I bet the episode, I bet the episode will probably be even funnier once I see all the sneaking tactics.
a veranda Santa. I like that game now. And speaking of making mountains out of molehills, remember when I said I got the three likes on that last video? Um, so that I could do this video. To tell the truth, I only got one. The other two were me and a dummy account. So, yeah, I pretty much rigged it to do this episode because, like, I was on a roll. Once I finished that Christmas swim episode, I wanted to do the Veranda Santa episode. But, like, um, y'all didn't like the video and, like, I was starting to doubt myself. Like, like, do y'all even care? Do y'all still even watch me? Like, like, what's the point of continuing? I'll tell you what my point of continuing is. I, I want to make videos, and I'm going to continue making videos in spite of you. Like, like I'm going to make videos until I cannot make videos anymore. Be it because I'm out of money, or because I'm out of patience, or because I'm out of energy, or because I'm dead. I don't care. I'm going to keep making videos. Y'all ain't going to freaking stop me. I have an agenda for 2024. Because I'm afraid 2024 is the year is the, gonna be really, really bad. But I have a way to kind of try and give me hope and give other people hope. Like, give them something to look forward to. Shut up, phone. Give them something to look forward to. Give them something to do to make their world a better place. And I, I'm excited. I just hope that friggin' like at the end of the day like that even if I just screw around making silly videos on the internet that I can at least accomplish something. <sighs> I'm rambling but uh, we'll see if I have any cool videos down the pipeline for the rest of the month because um, hopefully I want to do one more thing Christmas related before I hold off until the New Year's Eve wrap up. Where I look back at my favorite videos of 2023 and talk about them. But until next time, thank y'all for watching. Check you later. Peace.